Okay, we're doing a comparison of grade one math curriculums. I have two, actually I believe I have a third one as well, upstairs. So we have no math generally is considered secular. But first, before we get into that, let me show you my product of the day. This is by Mrs. Wordsmith. It's the product I used last time too. I figured just in case everyone wants them watching the video, I might as well show them again. And it's got, you know, a word of the day and a definition, irresistible. And then at the back though, if your kids are a little older, it's used in 12.1% of stories. It's got synonyms to it. It's got word pairs. So things that go with it. It's got tell a story and it uses it in a bit of a story. So I definitely like this and you flip, it's January, February, things like that. So I, I definitely recommend that. Oh, thank you. Yes, like and subscribe for the video. Okay, so we're gonna do a comparison of math curriculums today for grade one. So for grade one, your options are my favorite, which is math with confidence, also my favorite, which is math mammoth, and then you have the good and the beautiful math. So let's look at math mammoth first. So this is the first year of it. These two curriculums are priced the same. This is mastery, I got one mastery, one spiral, and this is both mastery and spiral. Okay. Now first to this, this is based on the Singapore math method, which they are the number one country for math in the world. And so this is just a prep before you get in counting, make sure you know how to count before you start this curriculum, make sure you know shapes, things like that before you get into the curriculum. Now what I love about this is let me take you through and show you. First of all, no prep is required for this curriculum. So no prep. So you just do a page a day. Well, that's what I just told my son to do, was like a page a day as part of his things. So every day, part of his work, he would just get up and do a page a day. Now, what I love about it is it is colorful too. I mean, it is bright, it is colorful. You can use as well, it recommends you use an abacus with it. Um, so we did buy an abacus, we used an abacus when we were doing this, and then we switched from this to Math of Confidence. Now Spiral is where you learn one topic, you stay on one topic till you firmly get it and then you move on to the next. Now, where, no, Mastery is that. Spiral is where the good and the beautiful is, which you do one topic, then on the other, then on the other. Now this is Math of Confidence. I love it. It's not worksheet based, so it's play based. And these are the worksheets, but it's like you do, you know, one worksheet a day. This is the instructor manual. Price-wise, they are the same. An instructor manual, let's pick out a week. So like here, you're, you're gonna play war, zero through 10. Not only that, but it really does, you don't need to buy a big expensive package of things. I'm telling you, this is such a thorough commit, thorough curriculum, and you learn number sense, you learn all those things you wanted, like with Right Start Math, but without the price of Right Start Math. So you'll do a warm up, you count to 10 the activities, write numbers one through 10, review using greater than and less than and equal, compare groups of objects, written numerals, practice numbers one to 10. So you got like, so this is this one lesson, right? And the materials you need is a snowball or bean bag or a small ball or bean bag, number cards, index cards, counters. Now these are things that you assemble yourself and you have in your kit. And then you do work pages 1.2a and 1.2b. All right, so shuffle cards, turn one card face up, have your child name the number and copy the number on a separate index card. All right, and then repeat with the rest of the number cards and you will use these cards in the next activity. So save these number cards for future references. So if it is too much writing for your child, which I like that they consider because even at grade one, it was too much for my son. Um, then you have the child trace the number with his finger just so that he can understand the strokes of it. Okay, so I really think they thought of it. So next, have your child count how many cookies are in each pile and place the corresponding number next to each pile. All right, so if this isn't a good, I mean, I just think that it really does. You're doing it with them and then the activity is war. So you're really thoroughly, thoroughly educating your child. And that would go with, let's look at the lesson, one point. 1.8. So this is very early on in the grade one. So you do get to other stuff as well. Okay, so this is spiral. This is the good and the beautiful. As you'll see, it is beautiful. 
So it's almost just personal preference. I don't like spirals. Now they say lessons are 15 to 20 minutes. So now spiral is you learn one thing, learn something new, go back to that first thing, things like that. I don't like that that way. It's just very confusing to me. Now see, it's just very busy. I get it, it doesn't look, like maybe it doesn't look busy to you, but to me, it looks very busy. I like things simple. Again, how many bones, I like this, but then you're doing the clock thing, like, hey, and then you're doing a grid thing, the dot grid, and then you're back to doing math again. So this is generally how the United States learns math is this way and they're known as, you know, one of the worst countries in the world as far as people who know math, right? Like if you, when they rank all the countries. Um, and so that's just one of the reasons why I like math with confidence because I'm confident that we're doing both. So again, here we are doing clock. And because again, it's just confusing me because now wait, we're on the calendar, but wait, we're doing math again, but wait, we're doing this again. Now math mammoth again, um, because you don't do every single question in every single section, you can go back because you're not meant to do every single question in every single sec section in Math Mammoth. So you can go back and complete them at another time. So Math Mammoth, to me, is a really good curriculum. This one, again, I'm just showing it to you while I talk about Math Mammoth. So when Math Mammoth says mastery, it still is spiral in the sense that you go back to it. But see, we're just doing, like here, we're back on clocks again but we're also doing this. So it's personal preference. I honestly think that's what it comes down to because education wise, I think I think you'll be fine. Um, really in, in any which way you learn, especially because studies show that if your child missed something, like even in the math thing, they could pick it up very quickly when they're older. So if they have to go back and relearn something, it's not, I mean, they'll learn it a lot easier than they did the first time. So for me, who's not good at math, and I never um, was successful per se, if you will, at this type of math, it, it's just this program's not for me. It comes with a cool box, it comes with a clock and things like that on it. So review, there's clock again, there's this and this and this, and it's like, it just feels to me like we're jumping from one topic to another to another. Again, it's beautiful, it's good, it's just personal preference that I don't like that. Personal preference, I wanna stay on addition and do addition a ton of different ways until we get addition and then move on to something else. That's personal preference. <laughs> okay, so there you go. All right, so there you go. Those are three different math choices, some of the most popular math choices that you have um, to take a look at. And so we'll see what you like. <laughs>